Hey T fam, it's your girl Princess. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. So today I am doing a food video. I haven't done a food video in a really, really long time with the T fam. So I thought today would be a perfect day to do so. And behind me is my food. Okay, let me show you what I have. I'm actually eating Vietnamese pho. And Vietnamese food is supposed to be one of the healthiest cuisines there is, okay? So that's what I will be having today. Let me take everything out of the bag. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put the bag to the side and show you what I have. All right. So I have this Vietnamese place where I live in my, the town I live in, I should say. And this is where I got the food from. So this is just their vegetarian pho. All right, and let me show you what, how it looks inside. All right, it has a bunch of different vegetables in it. It has tofu, um, carrots, onions, a lot of just different vegetables. And on the bottom, it has rice noodles. And then it also comes with a broth. This is actually a mushroom broth, okay? And this is my first time having um, pho. I've eaten at this place before, but I've never had their pho. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. All right. The broth. So I guess, I'm, I've, like I said, I've never had it before. So I guess I pour the broth into the noodle and vegetable mixture so i'm gonna do that now pour it all in i'm not gonna pour all the broth because they gave me quite a bit but let me what it looks like all right without spilling it and this is i think this is their peanut sauce and I, i'm gonna put it on top i'm not sure if that's what i'm supposed to do but it's what i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm not gonna use all of it because I don't think I'm going to eat it all. And then they give you a bag of bean sprouts, a lime, and mint. I don't really like bean sprouts, so I'm not going to eat the bean sprouts. And let me get my fork. All right. And we're going to try the pho together. All right. So I always try to look for healthier options when I'm eating. And like I said, I've eaten at this place before, and the food is really, really good. I've never had their pho. But let me try to get some on the fork. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. It's really, really good. And this, these are rice noodles. Mmm, this is so good. All right. All right, this is so good. But anyway, I want to talk about something that I went and did today. I had to pay a ticket, y'all. I got a ticket for going through a red light. And the way I got the ticket was in the mail. It was one of those red light camera tickets that they send in the mail. I was so upset, but you know, I was so upset that I got the ticket, but when I saw the video footage, because when you get the ticket in the mail, they send you along with it, video footage of you going through it, basically you going through the red light <laughs> and I could do nothing but pay. I couldn't even argue it. My, I sh straight up just went through the red light. But anyway, that brings me to my next topic that I want to talk about. So I've heard about this app. About a year ago, um, and I never really used it because I was using the app that was already installed in my phone and, that, you know, I was fine with it. So, after I got this ticket, I decided to download this app. And this is not a sponsored video. This is just me using the app. And letting you know about it. And the app that I'm talking about is called Waze. W-A-Z-E. And basically, the way the app, Waze app works, it's a um, driving direction 
that. So, the app that I was using before was Google Maps, and which was already um, downloaded on my phone. And I would use that. So, I didn't think I had to download another app. But let me tell you today, I downloaded the app. And boy, I wish I would have done that one long time ago. And if I would have done it a long time ago, maybe I wouldn't have gotten the ticket, the red light camera ticket. But... That app, if you don't have that app downloaded on your phone, you need to download that right now. I'm not even kidding you. Because this app, it tells you if there's any police in the area. It tells you um, the shortest distance to get to your destination. Hmm. And two things that I like about it the most is if you are approaching a light, a red light that has a camera, it lets you know before you get to the light. And another thing that I like about the app is if you, um, well, it also... It calculates how fast you're going, your speed, and it also takes an account of the, the actual speed limit that you're supposed to be going, and anytime you go over the posted speed limit, it'll flash the speed limit to remind you of that you're going over it. So I just thought that was so amazing, you know, because sometimes when you're driving, you're not... Or you might not pay attention to the speed limit. Um, you know, they have it posted every so often. But it's easy not to see it when you're focusing, driving straight ahead. I personally always try to look out for the speed limit. But, you know, sometimes you don't realize how fast you're going. But this app, I'm telling you, W-A-Z-E, Waze. It's the way to go <laughs> because, it, like I said, it tells you if there's any police ahead, the hidden ones, the ones out in the open. It tells you any roadblocks. It tells you how fast you're going. So it's not a bad app to have on your phone if you're driving or traveling. Okay. Maybe if I would have had that app before, I wouldn't have got the ticket. <laughs> But it's all good. I paid the ticket. The ticket was $50. So. I guess it could have been worse. And. When I got the ticket in the mail. I was so upset. But when I saw the video footage. I was just like. It was nothing I can do or say. Mmm. Let me show you what I'm drinking. I just have a little cup of ice here. The ice that I get from Chick-fil-A. I buy the five pound bag of ice from Chick-fil-A. Chick and look at the cubes. Nice and crunchy. All right. To drink, I have this Verde chlorophyll water. Okay. And it's the, I got watermelon chlorophyll water. So I'm just going to shake it up. And pour some in the cup. Oh, it is green, y'all. Look. Oh, my goodness. I got this actually from the organic market. I went to the organic market today. It is green. Look at this. It said, oh, okay, hold on one sec. It says zero preservatives, zero calories, zero GMO ingredients, vegan and gluten free. Okay. They had other flavors, but I wanted to try the watermelon one. It's not very, very sweet at all. I think it has like like little amounts of sugar in it. Yeah, it's not real sweet at all. It's not sweet, but it's good. It's, it's not bad. It's refreshing. 
Mm. And it says um, amounts of chlorophyll, um, sh two shots of wheatgrass, 12 cups of arugula, four cups of spinach. So it's supposed to be very, very healthy for you. I try to eat healthy. I try to pick out the healthiest options when I go grocery shopping, when I eat out. Any Anything I eat, I just try to choose healthy options. You know? Alright, look at that. These are rice noodles, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. And like I said, I've never had pho from this place before, but I've had other things that they make. I've had their rice noodle bowl. I've had their, um, what else did I have? I've, I had their spring or summer rolls, which are really, really good. But. And I've eaten it quite a bit, but I just never had the pho. So I was like, today, let me try the pho. <laughs> and just like with the rest of their food, this does not disappoint. It's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Look at that. Mm mm mm. Mm. Um. Mm. I think this right here, the foe is more filling than their rice bowl. It's very filling and very good. Like, mm. I didn't even open this. Oh my goodness. I mean, open this. Like I said, I'm probably not going to eat the, um, the bean sprouts. I don't really care for bean sprouts, but I will eat the mint because I love mint. If you put mint, like mint, cucumbers, ginger, and lemon, and water, Oh my goodness, it tastes so good and it's supposed to help you lose weight if you're trying to lose weight. But it just tastes good. And I'm going to squeeze some of the lime because I love the way lemon and lime give things flavor. That little citrusy aspect. So I'm just squeezing the lime juice. Look at that juice. Alright, let me put this back. And let's get a taste of this. This is really good, y'all. Mmm. It's so good, y'all. Mmm. 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 Look at that. Mmm. It's so good. I'm gonna take one more bite. And then I'm gonna save the rest because this is a lot of food. Oh, and I only paid nine dollars plus tax, which was nine it came to nine seventy five. So it wasn't bad. And this is a lot of food. It's filling me up. Mmm. Last bite. I'm going to save the rest for later. Mm. That was so tasty. I am so glad I decided to try the Vietnamese pho. And I got, like I said, I got the vegetarian one. So tasty. All right, T fam, that is it for now. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. Don't forget to try um, Pho if you have a Vietnamese restaurant in your area. And don't forget to check out that Waze app. I will leave the 
in the description. I will leave that information in the description box down below. It's an app to download on your phone to use for driving directions that will keep you from getting a ticket. <laughs> Believe me, it will keep you from getting a ticket. On that note, I am going to go. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Be blessed and bye.